This is Earth Sketchpad. I'm Ricky Martin, and this is a crab. And you can draw one in three minutes. So when drawing a crab, I like to start with the body, and that's like an upside down saucer. So an arc like that. Flat top on the other side. And then the lower part of the body sort of curves outwards and then down like that. Got a little line that goes around the top that separates the top and the bottom. And when this gets near the middle, leave a big gap and you can draw the eyes. Now the eyes are compound eyes, which means they're made up of hundreds of tiny lenses so they can look in front of them, behind them, got a really good field of vision. Have a little mouth here. And these little bits in between. I'm not sure what that is, but they seem to have it. Now crabs are part of the decapod family, which means they've got 10 feet. But the front two are claws, so I'm going to start drawing those now. And these front arms are all big and muscly like this, broken up into separate segments. And they can use these claws to drum on the ground or wave at each other with their pincers to communicate. I'm not sure what crabs have really got to talk about, but there we go. Nice big pincers. Like a little spiky bit on the inside there. Go to draw the bottom of his body. And then on the other side, again, broken up into these little segments. I'm going to have this one open. There we go. And of course, 10 footed, so let's draw in those legs. And these legs bend outwards, which means it's a lot easier for crabs to walk sideways and swim sideways. More efficient for them. Now there are over 4,500 species of crab and they live in all the world's oceans, in freshwater and on land. There you go, These separate segments. Have a couple of bits of the claws poking through the underside there. And bits of extra detail. Check that out, a crab in under three minutes. But he's a friendly crab, a little bit too friendly. And he likes hugging everything on the beach, especially animals. We've got, ooh, nice inflatable crocodile. And yeah, he's been hugged. Little clawy cuddle and he's deflated. Really let himself down there. <sighs> Sorry, I feel a little bit ashamed after that. There you go, put the handles on. No, it's a crocodile then. Bit of a... Uh, Extra little back lumps, and do you not. Know There's his punch mark with a bit of air coming out of it. And then maybe just back here by the surf, let's have a guy standing up, scratching his head, looking bemused. Bemused is a good word, isn't it? Stripe top. And he's holding up. Oh, this one certainly wasn't an animal, but it was once fun. Now it's a deflated rubber ring. Air blowing out of it again, like a little cloud with a couple of lines here to show the air pushing its way out. The toes, mm, big feet actually. I've gone for one of those Victorian swimming onesies Always a little bit of foam down by the surf, so that's an extra line in there. A little wave. Just crashing in. Ship in the distance. I just wanted to add something to the horizon there, just a little bit bare. And then over here, another marine creature that's been let down. I'm gonna make it a dolphin. Little stretchy marks around it like that. Flattened eye, bit of air again. Crab's really gone for it. And then maybe he's about to try out the next inflatable. Uh, it might not be an inflatable, but he's going to find out pretty soon. A couple of hairs, maybe over here just to fill in a bit of the gap. The distance slightly, a bucket and a spade. Check it out, an over-friendly crab spoiling a day out of the beach. Devastating. Loving the creature chaos? Well, there's plenty more Sketchpad picks on the BBC Earth Kids channel.